Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be here with you. I'm Karis from Mosin Bikes. I'd like to start with a story. My grandfather had to sell his pet monkey to buy his first pair of shorts. He went on to open the first school in my village. My father was forced into our bloody civil war at a young age and went on to become the first PhD in my family. The human story is a story of mobility, of upward mobility. But in my country, Mozambique, about 50% of the population lives below the poverty line. And they cannot reach the goods and services that they need to get a better life. I mean, we are in Helsinki right now, in Finland. Finland has about 3.6 million bicycles. They have the second highest per capita of bicycles in the world. And you'd probably be thinking, why do they not use bicycles? The bicycle market in my country is inefficient and underserved. So we address the problem. What can we do to make sure that the people who need them the most can have them? And that's where Mosin Bikes was born. We offer a high quality, uniquely designed, branded bicycle that is tailored to the conditions of Africa and made affordable for those who need it more. How do we do it? By branding it with corporate advertisers to make it affordable. And what we're selling to our end users is not a bicycle. We're selling access to water, access to schools, access to healthcare, access to labor, more time with their families. And to the companies that sponsor the bicycles, we are offering them chance to grow with these communities, to be part of the development story of a growing continent, a growing country. We reach our people through four revenue streams, from branded bicycles to donated bicycles. We hit 12,000 bicycles on the road this year and made over $350,000 in revenue last year. And this is how we get to the market. We order a container full of nuts, bolts, tubes, rubber pieces. And through local labor, through our 18 brilliant factory technicians, through local paint suppliers, through local design agencies, we put together a final product that helps transform the lives of our users. Mozambique has a population of about 20 million, 25 million people. We have two million families living below the poverty line who at least need one bicycle to make their lives better. And that's who we're going for. We do have competition as every business does. You have other transports which involve fuel and with climate change, we're trying to reduce that. You have international charities. You have local advertisers, you have billboards, you have bicycle stores, but we operate in the intersection of all of those, trying to make it affordable and local. Our team came together in an amazing way. My two co-founders, one from the US and one from Portugal, were traveling across my province in Mozambique, and they kept admiring the women carrying heavy loads on their heads and walking for kilometers, the children walking back and forth on the main highways to school, and they said, why don't they use a bicycle? Well, I could tell you many of the reasons. So we came together, and with their different view of how things can be done, and my local expertise, we're able to build a strong team that is delivering a great product to amazing people. We started our pilot in 2012 by assembling one bicycle and selling a container of 900. We went on to grow to 3,000 bicycles per year. This year, we hit 12,000 bicycles on the road, and we have quotes out for 1,500 bicycles this year. What we're looking for is scale, is growth. We have proven our model, and we want to reach the growing African people who really need this. And what we're looking for is a sales team development initiative. We're looking for expansion into our neighboring countries, South Africa and Swaziland. And we want to increase our capacity from the 3,500 bicycles we do per year now to 25,000 bicycles in the next five years. Thank you very much. Please buy, donate, advertise with Mozan Bikes. Fantastic. Uh, we command you on your speech. You're like, like a storyteller. You're clear. You're, you're excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Quick question about the ad uh, on the bike. I'm yes. not sure I heard how much it was costing to um, the corporates to actually uh, sponsor. It costs $120 for them to brand the bicycle. And uh, they have two options. They can per, uh, sponsor 80% uh, of the cost and then we get the bicycle to the end user at about $20 to $30. 
or they can brand the entire bicycle and use it in the CSR campaigns for their own initiatives for their workers to uh, use from home to work and enter work-related activities. And we've had outstanding demand for the companies to just buy up the entire bicycle and not just a part of it. Um, so about the supply and logistics, I mean, where do you find the bikes and how do you get them to the end user? We source our components from China and Taiwan. India is going to be entering our value uh, uh, chain now. And we bring these all in as little nuts and bolts and little pieces. Nothing is assembled. We fit over a thousand into one container. And then we add to local labor by having everything done in our warehouse in Mozambique. Karis, your passion is really contagious. So it's always a lovely energy. I have a question. Can you tell us a little bit about the demographics of your current user base? You said you have 12,000 bikes now. Is it mostly younger children, women, employees who are currently using this? Uh, the biggest recipients of these bicycles have been women, followed by men working in uh, urban areas for commuting. We have not designed a child bike yet. That's part of our growth initiative to add some more uh, products to our line. Uh, but those are the main, uh, the main uh, avenues. So we have about 60% uh, uh, women use, and we just finished a training program to train 20 women technicians in the various communities where you distribute bicycles. And do you also have to teach people how to ride a bike, or is that something that you just... Excuse me, sorry? Do you also have to teach the community how to ride a bike, or is that something which is rather common? It's a no common bikes? practice. The uh, bicycle is an amazing innovation uh, when it first came in the 19... 20s to Mozambique through migrant workers, and so it's a culture that is spread across the country. You have some cities where they're used as taxis, so you sit on the bicycle and they'll take you from the supermarket to your home. But in communities where women and other members of the community haven't had access, we do bicycle riding clinics where we come in and we teach the people in the village how to ride a bicycle. Awesome. Thank you. Thank to you Mozambique. very much. Thank you, Helsinki.